let's say I'm a, a, a hardworking guy. I saved up twenty thousand dollars, right? I saved up twenty thousand dollars, and I'm like, man, I've been hearing about this real estate stuff. You know, I put this away to try to do something great. I want to flip this twenty thousand into, let's say, a hundred thousand, hundred thousand plus. How? What's the best way somebody could do that? Start from twenty grand and try to get to a hundred. What's, yeah. what's the best way they can try to flip that? Here's my suggestion. This is my opinion. Mm -hmm. If somebody had $20,000, like I said, I want to preface it. This isn't the only way to invest 20K, but this is the way I would tell somebody to do it. One, if you already have a home, then there's a path. But if you don't have a home, this is the path I would say. Buy a duplex. Mm -hmm. Buy a duplex. Get the, you know, FHA uh, type deal or, or even lower conventional because if FHA won't, may not be structured right for duplex, lower conventional where you put down five to 10%, move into one side of the duplex, run out the other side and stay in it for two years, build the equity up, move out, turn that other side into a full duplex. Now you rent it, go do it again, right? And so, um, you know, because when you can do a 10% conventional or 15% conventional versus the traditional 20 to 25 or 30%. That's a game changer. Your dollar goes that much further. Interest rates are low. So I would encourage you to do that or buy a home. Now you can for sure do FHA. You're talking 3.5% down up to 5%. You move into it. And I would encourage you to do a newer construction home. So find a newer home. Look at the D restrictions, look at the HOA, and make sure you can rent it, but stay in it. For, I think it's 24 months or 36 months that you have to stay in that property. And then you turn around, turn that into an investment property and do it again. It's the same way you see new builders all, builders all across the nation. Most builders, I don't do this, but most builders build a home. They stay in it for two years. They turn around, put it on the market and sell it. They pay no capital gain taxes because they've been in it for two years, it was their homestead. They build it and then they do it again and again and again. That's how they're building their wealth as builders because they build it for at cost, there's no builder margin on it. Well, we can have the same hack for FHA or, or conventional low down, you know, low percentages down. You move into a home, stay in two years, 24, 36 months, same thing builders do, but instead of selling it, you rent it and then just do it again. Mm -hmm. So that's what I would encourage people to do and then use that as your self-education. You're going to learn things about management. You're going to learn things about investment properties that is going to teach you to then take that knowledge and start doing bigger deals and doing more deals and start doing development and all those things. But I would say start there. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, and you could, uh, from what I understand, you could go up all the way up to um, a fourplex and it still be considered residential. Correct. Yeah. So if they, if they if they spot something, if they spot a few more units, if they can they can swing it, you can start like that. Yeah, and then I'll say my my only advice would be talk to a specific lender in your region, mm -hmm. and then talk to if you're not a broker, talk to a real estate broker to understand because each state is different. Mm -hmm. You know, most real estate in in residential is generalistic. If it happens in Texas, it can happen in California, but there are some specifics to each state. If you're watching this, you want to figure that out.